What if I told you that the secrets to success have existed for thousands of years, hidden within the ancient scrolls of Chinese philosophy? They contain the blueprints for building empires and strategies for becoming the greatest version of yourself. Get ready as we unearth the secrets that have propelled ambitious individuals to the pinnacles of success. This video doesn't promise quick fixes or flashy shortcuts. Instead, it offers the deep, enduring wisdom of five of the greatest ancient Chinese philosophers. Their philosophies hold the keys to understanding not just the world around us, but the universe within each of us. Let's dive into the wisdom of our first guide on this journey, Confucius. 1. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Here's a little ancient wisdom from Confucius that's more relevant than ever. It's not about how fast you're moving, but that you keep moving, period. This isn't an excuse to drag your feet. It's a reminder that real success is a grind, a relentless, never-ending grind. Forget about overnight success. That's a myth peddled to sell books and fill seminars. The truth? It's about showing up day in, day out, especially when it feels like you're not making headway. Because the moment you stop, that's when you truly fail. So next time you're feeling stuck or slow, remember, speed isn't the game changer. Persistence is. Your journey to greatness is less about sprinting and more about enduring. Embrace the grind, keep pushing forward, and let's make every step count. This is your marathon. Two, our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. The dreaded F word, failure. Society has painted failure as the ultimate setback. But here's the thing. If you're not failing at something, it probably means you're playing it too safe. You're staying within the cozy confines of your comfort zone, where everything is nice and predictable. But let me ask you, have you ever heard a story about a legend who made history by playing it safe? Didn't think so. Failure is the universe's way of pushing you out of the nest. It's harsh, it's uncomfortable, but it's absolutely necessary. Because every time you pick yourself up, dust yourself off and dive back into the game, you're not just recovering, you're growing stronger, wiser, and more resilient. So the next time you face plan on the path to your goals, remember this. It's not the fall that defines you, but your courage to rise. Embrace your failures as badges of honor. They're proof that you're out there, pushing boundaries and taking risks. And that, my friend, is where greatness is forged. 3. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the sheer size of our ambitions. Sometimes our goals feel as daunting as moving mountains. But the secret is to start small. Every colossal achievement in history was built one small, seemingly insignificant step at a time. Rome wasn't built in a day, and Jeff Bezos didn't wake up one morning to find Amazon magically assembled. It starts with the small stones, those tiny daily actions that compound over time into something vast and transformative. This philosophy is a call to action for the procrastinators, the dreamers, and the overwhelmed. Feeling stuck? Break down your mountainous goal into pebbles. Focus on moving one small stone today, then another tomorrow. It's about momentum, not magnitude. So, what small stone can you move in your life today? 4. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Diving deeper into our journey of self-improvement and success, we encounter a truth that many find hard to swallow. It's a powerful reminder from Confucius that the path to wisdom isn't about accumulating facts or flaunting what we think we know. It's about understanding the vastness of what we don't. This statement is a call to humility and curiosity. It's easy to get comfortable in our knowledge bubbles, to assume we've got it all figured out. But the moment you think you know everything is the moment you close yourself off to learning, growth, and ultimately, greatness. Acknowledging our ignorance is a true sign of intelligence. The most successful people aren't those who boast about their knowledge, but those who are perpetually curious, always questioning, always digging deeper. So ask yourself, what don't I know? What can I learn today? After all, the wisest among us are those who can comfortably admit they have much to learn. Moving on from Confucius's wisdom, we now turn to the strategic genius of Sun Tzu, the author of The Art of War. Let's explore how his ancient battlefield tactics can be applied to conquer the battles within ourselves and in our pursuit of success. 5. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This is a principle that transcends the ancient battlefields. 
At first glance, it's about warfare, but let's reframe this for the modern warrior, the entrepreneur. In your quest for success, knowing the enemy means understanding your competition inside and out, what drives them, their strengths, their weaknesses, and what they value most. But that's just half the equation. Knowing yourself means being acutely aware of your own business's strengths and limitations, your unique value proposition, and how you can leverage this knowledge to outmaneuver the competition. It's about strategic self-awareness, recognizing where you stand in the grand scheme of things and where you need to bolster your defenses or advance your position. You must keep preparing not just for the battles you can see, but for the ambushes you can't. When you're armed with self-awareness and an understanding of the challenges ahead, fear loses its grip and every challenge becomes surmountable. 6. Avoid what is strong, attack what is weak. This advice is pure gold, not just for plotting your next business move, but for navigating the complexity of life itself. So, you're eyeing up the competition, whether it's that startup breathing down your neck or the personal goals that feel more like distant dreams. Here's the thing. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goliath without a solid strategy is a one-way ticket to getting squashed. Find your edge where they're not even looking. Identify the gap in the market and take advantage of it. Redirect your energy where you can actually make a dent. It's not about avoiding challenges. It's about being smart, playing to your strengths, and remembering that the path to victory doesn't always involve picking the toughest fight. It's about finding your battlefield, the place where you can make the biggest impact with the skills you've got. It's time to strategize, adapt, and conquer. 7. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Chaos might seem like the universe's way of saying it's time to throw in the towel, but hold up. This is actually your cue to look closer. When everything's up in the air, that's when the rule book goes out the window and the game gets interesting. Think about it. When markets tumble, the cautious hold back, but the savvy see a playground. It's the perfect time to innovate, to zig when others zag, to find those gaps left wide open by others too busy panicking to notice. Be ready when the world shifts, ready to offer solutions, to adapt, and to pivot faster than the rest. It's in these moments when the familiar crumbles that we discover new strengths and paths we never knew we had the guts to walk. So next time you find yourself in the eye of the storm, chaos isn't the end of the story. It's the opportunity for your next big breakthrough. 8. Every battle is won before it is ever fought. This isn't about psychic powers or predicting the future. It's about preparation, strategy, and the mental game that sets the winners apart from the rest. This means doing your homework, understanding the market, anticipating trends, and outthinking your competition before you make your move. It's chess, not checkers. Winning doesn't start in the boardroom. It starts in the preparation, in the countless hours no one sees, in the groundwork that's laid while everyone else is sleeping. Don't leave your success to chance. Be so prepared, so in tune with your strategy, that when the moment to act arrives, victory is not just possible, it's inevitable. Switching gears from the strategic battlefield insights of Sun Tzu, we encounter the tranquil wisdom of Lao Tzu. 9. Time is a created thing. To say, I don't have time, is like saying, I don't want to. In the whirlwind of life, it's easy to play the busy card. But let's be real. Saying you don't have time is often code for, it's not a priority. Whether it's pursuing a passion project, investing in personal growth, or taking that leap of faith in business, the challenge isn't finding the time, it's making the time. Finding an extra hour to do something can be as simple as waking up an hour earlier every day. Lao Tzu's words are a gentle but powerful reminder to take control of our time, to fill it with the pursuits that truly matter, and to recognize that the barrier isn't the clock, it's our commitment. So are you ready to stop saying, I don't have time, and start making time for what will truly enrich your life and propel you forward? 10. Care about what other people think and you will always be their prisoner. Ever find yourself obsessing over a comment someone made about you? That's the prison Lao Tzu's talking about. You need to stop handing over the keys to your happiness and self-worth to other people's opinions. It's like giving everyone a remote control to your feelings and watching helplessly as they flip through the channels. Not exactly the picture of empowerment, is it? In the world of high performance, waiting for a standing ovation from the crowd means you'll never start the show. 
Because let's face it, groundbreaking ideas often come with their fair share of side eyes and skepticism. The most successful people have mastered the art of respectful indifference. They listen to feedback, sure, but they're too busy charting their own course to care about the opinion of others. So what's it going to be? Will you keep playing it safe, locked up in the cell of other people's opinions, or are you ready to grab the keys and walk out? 11. If you correct your mind, the rest of your life will fall into place. The battleground for your greatest victories isn't out there. It's in your head. Let's break this down. Ever notice how a bad mood can turn everything sour? Or how a shift in perspective can turn obstacles into opportunities? That's the power of your mind. Get it operating in the right mode and the world becomes your playground. This is where the rubber meets the road in self-improvement. It's not about slapping on a happy face or pretending problems don't exist. It's about setting the dial of your mind to win mode. Train your brain to see the path through the storm, to focus on solutions rather than problems, and to find strength in challenges rather than despair. Mind over matter isn't just a saying, it's the secret to success. 12. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. You need to have the courage to start, the inner power of taking that first, often daunting step towards your goals and dreams. This quote is the ultimate clapback to procrastination, to that voice in your head telling you the task is too big, the goal too far, the dream too lofty. It's a call to action, reminding us that every epic tale, every empire, every breakthrough started with a single, seemingly insignificant act. Stop waiting for the perfect moment. It doesn't exist. The perfect moment is now, and it starts with doing something, anything really, as long as it moves you a step away from where you are and a step closer to where you want to be. Remember, it's not the size of the step that counts. It's the decision to take it. Having soaked in Lao Tzu's wisdom, let's now delve into the insights of Mencius. Known for his deep understanding of human nature and morality, Mencius builds on our foundation with thoughts that challenge and inspire personal growth. 13. He who exerts his mind to the utmost knows his nature. This isn't about acing trivia nights or being a whiz at crossword puzzles. It's a call to push our cognitive boundaries, to engage deeply with the world and ourselves, revealing layers of our character and capabilities we might not have known existed. This journey of mental exertion isn't for the faint of heart. It requires questioning, learning, failing, and then standing up to question again. It's in this relentless pursuit of understanding and self-improvement that we come face to face with who we truly are, stripped of pretenses and societal labels. This principle challenges us to lean into discomfort, to tackle the projects that scare us, and to embrace the uncertainty of uncharted territories. Because when we push our minds to the edge, we're not just expanding our knowledge or skill set, we're also carving a deeper understanding of our intrinsic nature, our passions, and perhaps our purpose. 14. To act without clear understanding, to form habits without investigation, to follow a path all one's life without knowing where it really leads, such is the behavior of the multitude. This is a wake-up call. It's about questioning the autopilot mode that so many people live their lives on, like a herd of sheep, mindless with no purpose. Think about it. How often do we question the routines we follow, the beliefs we cling to, or the paths we're on? Mencius is challenging us to lift the veil of routine, to scrutinize the reasons behind our actions, and to dare to ask, is this really where I want to be heading? This isn't about rebellion for the sake of rebellion. It's about intentional living, making choices because they resonate with our deepest truths, not because they're what we've always done or what's expected of us. You must examine the habits, beliefs, and paths you follow, ensuring they lead you toward the life you truly want. 15. The great man is he who does not lose his child's heart. Now, this doesn't mean ignoring responsibilities or starting a diet based exclusively on cereal and ice cream, tempting as that might be. It's about maintaining that sense of wonder, curiosity, and boundless enthusiasm that comes so naturally during childhood. Remember the last time you were genuinely excited about something, so much that you couldn't wait to dive in? That's the child's heart right there. This philosophy is gold, especially in today's relentless hustle. It's about approaching life and work with eagerness, about finding joy in the learning and the doing, not just the achieving. 
The truth is, the most groundbreaking ideas, the most joyful lives, and the most fulfilled individuals aren't the ones who took everything super seriously. They're the ones who dared to play, to dream, and to wonder with the heart of a child. Let's rediscover that magic. 16. Only when a man will not do some things is he capable of doing great things. Understand that greatness often requires the courage to turn down good opportunities in favor of great ones. In a world where being busy is often mistaken for being productive, where saying yes to everything is seen as a virtue, you must give yourself permission to be selective. It's about recognizing that our time, energy, and focus are finite resources. Spreading ourselves too thin is the antithesis of productivity and fulfillment. It's a fast track to burnout and mediocrity. This principle invites us to take a hard look at our commitments, our goals, and our daily actions. It's about asking, does this align with my values? Does this bring me closer to my vision of greatness? And if the answer is no, having the strength to pass. It's about prioritizing what truly matters, even if it means disappointing others or stepping back from good opportunities that don't serve our ultimate purpose. So are you ready to practice the art of saying no? Remember, it's not about doing more, it's about doing what's right. Now let's explore how our next philosopher, Shunzi's insights can further enrich our understanding and actions in the quest for personal excellence. 17. The person attempting to travel two roads at once will get nowhere. This isn't about road trips gone wrong. It's a metaphor for the futility of divided focus and the peril of trying to chase two hairs at once. In our hyper-connected, multitasking world, this ancient wisdom rings truer than ever. It's a stark reminder that spreading ourselves too thin isn't just inefficient, it's a recipe for stagnation. Whether it's trying to juggle multiple careers, half committing to a number of projects, or toggling between conflicting goals, the result is the same. Progress in neither direction. You need to prioritize, commit fully to a single path, and give it your all. This is the path to greatness. 18. Not having felt pain, one cannot understand pleasure. This insight challenges us to embrace the full spectrum of experiences life offers. It's a reminder that our darkest moments often set the stage for our brightest triumphs, that the valleys make the peaks all the more breathtaking. Pain, in its various forms, shapes us, tests us, and in the process can reveal strengths we never knew we had. In both personal growth and the pursuit of success, recognizing this duality can be a source of resilience. It teaches us that setbacks and challenges aren't just obstacles. They're opportunities for growth, learning, and ultimately, a deeper appreciation for the moments of joy and achievement. So, as we navigate the highs and lows, let's remember Shunzi's words. Let's not shy away from the challenges or the pain they might bring, for it is through these experiences that we come to truly understand and savor the pleasure and success we seek. 19. If you do not think about the future, you cannot have one. A simple yet powerful reminder that our futures are not just happenstance, they're crafted by the thoughts, plans, and actions we undertake today. This isn't about having every step meticulously planned or fearing the uncertainty that tomorrow holds. Rather, it's an encouragement to engage with our future, to envision it, and to start laying down the bricks that will build the path towards it. In the hustle of daily life, it's easy to get caught up in the immediacy of now, but Shunzi nudges us to lift our gaze, to look beyond the horizon. Whether it's setting goals or investing in personal growth, it's about being intentional with the legacy we're creating. So, let's not be passive bystanders in our own lives. Instead, let's actively shape our futures with wisdom, purpose, and a deep sense of intention. The future isn't just something that happens to us, it's something we create. 20. If the root is not correct, the fruit will suffer. In our final principle, Shunzi dives into the heart of cause and effect with this insightful wisdom. In essence, he is urging us to do the deep, often challenging work of ensuring our foundations are solid. In personal development, this means introspection and self-awareness, understanding our core values and ensuring our actions align with them. This wisdom serves as a powerful reminder that shortcuts, superficial fixes, and neglecting our core principles might offer temporary gains. But ultimately, the quality of the outcome, the fruit, will reveal the truth of the foundation. Okay, so we've unearthed 20 philosophies for life that have stood the test of time. These are the cheat codes for the game of life. They've handed us the playbook 
Now it's on you to run the plays. So, as we wrap up this video, let's not just nod our heads in agreement and then forget all about it. Let's take this tough love, lace up our boots, and march forward with intention. Our ancient guides have lit the torch. Now it's our turn to carry the flame. Be bold, be relentless, and let's make those sages proud by living lives that are as impactful as their words.